we ran a digital thing the other day. The tides have changed a bit, George. More and more and more people think that you're going to win this fight. What do you put that down to? I'm preparing. People see how hungry I am. You know, they're not dumb. And they can see how he is. They can see his, his whole charisma. Kid's not focused. He's distracted like crazy. He's missing sessions left, right, and center. Two weeks ago, he's out partying and drinking. And, and, and I said it, a 1% of catch up, kid, and you'll learn the hard way. Now, there's going to be a lot of excuses. I see it. I know there's going to be a lot of excuses after this fight. The COVID, he's got asthma, his lungs. You know, we want one round to, to finish off Cambosis because they're not ready for the next 11. Um, there's going to be a lot of excuses, but... I want to just get your thoughts quickly of uh, the Lopez report from earlier, saying that he could have died in there. Well, what do you make you know, of that? At the end of the day, all the best in whatever he does mm -hmm. in the rest yeah. of his career, and, you know, whatever. Yeah, Scary saying, thing, though, right? What's your, what's your thoughts mean, on it, I'm man? in his position. Yeah, what's your thoughts on it? Because he says team, they claim that he had a leg injury, he had an arm injury, he had lung mm -hmm. problems. He had everything, yeah. Um, all the best to him. I wish him all the best, whatever he does, if he does decide to ever come back to boxing. Um, all the best to him. Let me ask you this, then. You. And hey, listen, you called it. Uh, you called it earlier, man. You said that they were going to make uh, a lot of excuses, you know, uh, built in on tomorrow as far as the Teal fight. Gonna be a, a, it was going to be a lot of built-in excuses, but did this surpass your expectations with all the leg injuries and, and all that stuff? Just, it doesn't bother me. I'm standing here. I'm the undisputed champion. I mean, I got all the belts. I'm the shot caller. I'm the cash cow now because I know what we're going to do in Australia. And you know what? It is what it is. My legacy of what I did in that fight. No one, no one can take that away. And like I said, all the best, champ. You know, speedy recovery. And uh, you know, I look forward to, to seeing you back if you ever do decide to come back. Champ, all right, Tio to. told, told Wilder to stop being a bitch. Stop making excuses. Post fight, a uh, post period fight loss. Now he's doing worse. When I said what I said about Wilder, it's not to discredit anything about the man, you know, as his manhood. I'm not saying anything about that. All I'm talking about is in the boxing, nobody's going to care about what happened. You lost, you, whatever happened, happened. You know what I mean? Move on. A few moments later. Fighter, but I won tonight, man. Everybody know that. The referee raised my hand. I won tonight. I don't care what anybody says, yo. I won tonight. We hey, again. at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I've been here. I've done that. I want to thank God. I want to thank everybody that came out tonight. Look, I ain't no sore loser. I take my wins like I take my losses. I know what it is. I know how these people work. Referee knew I won tonight. Everybody won, knew I won tonight. I don't believe it was a close fight at all. I believe that at the end of it all, I score it. I scored 11-2. Well, 11, uh, 10 2 Get the f out of here, man. Please. The T.O. told Wilder to stop being a Stop making excuses. Post fight, a uh, post fury fight loss. Now, he's doing worse. Is this the karma for T.O.? Yeah, that's for me. Like I said, it's you guys and the fans to, to judge him. You know I mean, I, I, uh, I was in the ring with him. I got, I got to judge him in the ring and do what I had to do in the ring. So, you know, all the best to him and, uh, you know, Good stuff. How's your has your life changed over this past week? It's been very busy, very very busy. You know, and uh, wherever I go at the moment, it's, it's pretty crazy. A lot of media, but you know, I've seen this, I've envisioned this for a very long time. You know, and um, for me, you know, I saw this coming. So to be honest, it's it's okay. It's not going to uh, affect anything I do in the ring and, and in the gym. I've got the tunnel vision. I'm training every day, and um, I can't wait to, to be back home. In the gym again. Keep you. You fought an, a beautiful fight, better than just about anybody thought. Yeah. But at the same time, it seemed as though people felt Tio didn't fight up to his best capabilities. Do you feel that's true at all? No, no, no. no. He he came fully prepared. He came fully prepared, and you could hear him in his the press conference and the interviews and how well he prepared and trained. He had one ten months to prepare for the fight. You know, regardless of, of the COVID and everything else. He had nine, ten months to, to make the weight, and he made the weight. So, no, he came prepared. He just wasn't prepared for what I bring and the dogfight and, and the warrior I am. And to get hit with whatever short shots he, he brought on. And again, his team in his corner, they said it as well, that any other lightweight taking these shots goes down, but I made a still. And again, he said that. That's first hand from his corner. When he put me down and I got up and I finished that round with a minute 45 to go, and I finished that round strong. And he came back to his corner, he said it. He goes, I can't put a dent in this guy. This guy's made of steel. And then I come back around 11 or 12 and, and, and do what I did. He showed the stamina and conditioning. It's a different, different breed. I'm a different breed and um, like I said, these belts will make me even hungrier.
Do you think he thought the Thanks fight with ego, perhaps? There was a lot of like quick early hooks as if he thought, if I land, I will, I will knock George out, essentially. Not ego, emotion, but that is because I got under his, under his skin. I got in his head, you know, and that's what I've been doing for many, many years. But um, they, they thought that they could take me out. The power, whatever he had there, um, the Lomachenko fight that he had so much success in, the, the, the knockout against Komi, they thought that they would take me out. Mm -hmm. But um, little did they know. I am made of steel. And got a better effing defense than we thought too. Shit. And I realize <laughs> and my sparring partners, if they, if, they, if, if they listen to my sparring partners in the, in the interviews, man, we can't touch Cambosis. The movement, the sharpness, the angles. I'm 250 rounds with Manny Pacquiao. And I mean, what, what, what says Lightweight's going to do to me? We should have known you know that. I mean? <laughs> but if you knew, you would have betted on it. You know I mean? Maybe some of you did. You would have betted big money. At one stage, I think 12 to 1 odds here in Vegas. So, um, Look, it is what it is. And again, probably going into the next fight, you know, whoever it is, I'll be an underdog again. Mm -hmm. I thrive on being the underdog. I love it and um, you know, I'm always in the dark preparing. Why, why won't this be uh, like a, a Buster Douglas Mike Tyson thing for you and you'll be able to sustain and reign? All them belts, the, the, the five belts that I have, you know, the, the, the undisputed, unified champ, whatever you want to call it, I don't care about about all that. I don't care about the, the, the glitz and glamour. Even the media here, you know, and, and doing all this and being in the lights. I want to be in the trenches. I want to go train. You will find me in the gym tonight. Body sore, cuts, bruises, but I'm, I'm putting in the work non-stop. You're going to train tonight? Yes, yes, 110%. <laughs> I wanted to train the, the night of the fight and my team had to stop me. That's the kind of fight I am. You didn't see, you saw a small bit of ferocious Cambosis in that fight against Lopez. There is so much more. That was maybe a quarter. And they say when you win your first belt, you get about 30% better. Mm -hmm. I want five of them. So. <laughs> is it, how did is you it feel, how did you feel to... with T.O. saying he felt, he, was, he felt robbed? How did you feel about that? No, it, was, it was his dad. His dad, so we can't believe anything his dad says anyway. So. When, it comes, does it... when I said it, I'm going to take him out with a, with a beautiful shot in the first round and hurt him and get my respect straight away. So um, the, the, the fight went exactly the way I pictured it. To be honest with you, I had it 9 to 3, 10 yeah. to 2. It exactly wasn't even a close fight. How, yeah. how you feel when T.O. said that he didn't get knocked down, he slipped? In the first round, no, what you think about That was his father, that was his father, so um, no comment, <laughs> it's his father, come on. Now, uh, Google Bella, he said that your, your number one uh, objective was, is going to be to, to fight Tank Davis, but the boxing world wants no, to see you fight Devin Haney. That's not true, that's not true, I'm the boss here. We ran a digital thing the other day, the ties have changed a bit, George. More and more and more people think that you're going to win this fight. What do you put that down to? I'm preparing. People see how hungry I am. You know, they're, they're not dumb. And they can see how he is. They can see his, his whole charisma. He's not focused. He's distracted like crazy. He's missing sessions left, right and centre. Two weeks ago, he's out partying and drinking. And then, and I said it. The one percent of catch up, kid, and you'll learn the hard way. Now, there's going to be a lot of excuses. I see it. I know there's going to be a lot of excuses after this fight. The COVID, he's got asthma, his lungs. You know, we want one round to, to finish off Cambosis because they're not ready for the next 11. Um, there's going to be a lot of excuses, but 